what we're going to do today is much like when we were talking about source coding, we, we let off with um, the mathematical importance of entropy. So remember in source coding, the entropy is the is the uh, uh, the minimum the minimum uh, size of the description of any possible source, and we proved that this was important because it came up in contexts such as um, well uh, the specific context in which it came up that we that we saw was in the uh, the proof of what we call the asymptotic equipartition theorem or property. sources was that um, as, as um, source lengths become very long, there's a certain set called the typical set that absorbs almost all of the probability. And all of the sequences within the typical set are um, approximately equally likely. So what we're going to talk about right now is an extension of that to channels. We need is what's called a joint asymptotic EV partition property. In other words, uh, asymptotic EV partition, excuse me, asymptotic EV partition as it pertains to joint, uh, as it pertains jointly to transmissions and noisy receptions as opposed to just uh, the outputs of a source. So, um, what this will, what, what, what this will, will do by the time we're, we're uh, done with its statement and proof is it will establish uh, the importance of mutual information, the mathematical importance of mutual information. So, theorem. So let's let x from 1 to n, y 1 to n, the length n sequences. So remember my notation here, x1 to n is equal to the vector x1, x2, and so on to xn. Length n sequence, sequences of pairs, xi, yi. So each individual, uh, remember the interpretation here, these are channel inputs and these are channel outputs. So those always occur in pairs. And this is two paired vectors of, of channel inputs and outputs. Uh, drawn IID according to uh, probability x1 to n, the joint probability x1 to n and y1 to n. If they're IID, then this is equal to the product from I equals 1 to N of P, XI, YI. Now, um, let's just do a quick aside here. Note that um, the product from I equals 1 to N of P, XI, YI by the rules of conditional probability, I can break this up into the product from i equals 1 to n, p y i given x i times p x i. So this term right here is um, the probability, uh, the input output probability for a discrete memoryless channel. Also, because it's i i d, this is also um, that further emphasizes that what, we're, what we have going on here is a, is a discrete memoryless channel. So with that preamble, we have three statements to make. Then, 
Firstly, the probability that any sequence x to the, uh, x1 to n, y1 to n is in This notation, A epsilon to the N. Remember this, this is the typical set notation. That basically means uh, the jointly typical set on X and Y. But I'm going to come back and, and uh, it's not exactly the same definition that we had for sources. I'm going to come back and define that more formally for, uh, for pairs, of, pairs of sequences in a second. So probability of that. Um, probability that any particular pair of sequences is in the jointly typical set goes to 1 as n goes to infinity. Second statement, cardinality of the jointly typical set is less than or equal to 2 to the n h of x and y, the joint entropy between x and y plus epsilon. similar to what we had before for the asymptotic equipartition property. Third statement is a little different. Third statement is if, let's say we have a source x tilde from 1 to n, y tilde from 1 to n. And let's say these are distributed where x is distributed according to the same distribution as normal x, and y is distributed with the same distribution as normal y, but these two uh, values are independent. <coughs> so in other words, x and y are normally jointly, jointly uh, excuse me, x and y are normally joint random variables that are dependent. Um, but let's say we draw x according to the marginal distribution for x, y according to the marginal distribution for y, but make them independent of each other. If that's true, then the probability that any such pair is in the typical set is less than or equal to 2 to the minus n mutual information between x and y minus 3 epsilon. I'm sorry, could yes. you repeat 